Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back to finally film my monthly plan with me for the month of March. I am definitely super late for this but I still wanted to get it, this video out just because I feel like this is the video that I always get up no matter what. Um, and I have quite a bit of plans for this month like trips and whatnot so I just thought it'd be fun to plan it for you guys so you guys can kind of see where I've been because I know I've kind of been a little bit absent from social media especially here on YouTube and hopefully I'll be able to get more videos up since I'll be going on different trips and whatnot and I don't know I've, I don't know if you guys have noticed but ever since the beginning of the video and I'm just gonna go ahead and start with here um, all the stickers that you guys see here, of course, are from my shop, Romina Rosa. We have the cute cherry foiled monthly washi. Then I have some foiled monthly scripts. The foil of the month for March was this green shade. I have some appointment and basic labels. And then I'm also going to be setting up my dashboard with the dashboard and the scripts. So the dashboard bundle. And let me just go ahead and get started. Let me take out my pages. I am using my A5 Rings Daily Planner from Erin Condren. So I'm just gonna take these out and let's start planning. That was in the recording, but I whited that out. I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this. Like I was saying, if you guys have been subscribed to me, you guys know this, but I haven't been too active on YouTube. And I feel like the reason being is I just have a lot going on. <laughs> I feel like I always have a lot going on. And in the beginning of the year, I kind of made myself this promise that I was only going to upload things if there was some sort of intention. So my word of the year was intention. And I guess I kind of wanted to change the direction of my channel because for a long time, I would say years, it was all about me just showing my hands and you guys not really getting to know who I truly was and I came to the conclusion that I am more than of course my hands and like my budgeting videos and that I wanted to show you guys my life and I have been doing so for a while I you guys know I've always loved vlogging and you know I've been going through stuff that I thought it would be nice to not only document for myself, but also for other people who might need or might be going through the same things as I'm going. So that's kind of why I've been a little absent because I'm trying to, I guess, find a way where I can include everything that I was doing before, plus adding other things. And that, of course, kind of stressed me out a little bit because... I can't do everything all at once in the shop and then try to be active on Instagram, possibly on TikTok, all while keeping a social life and, you know, being there for friends, for their birthdays, and, like, my own birthday as well. So, it just became a lot for me, and that's kind of, I guess, why I haven't been super consistent with YouTube. But I do like making videos, so, and I am, like I mentioned, going on trips soon this month. So it'll be nice to, I guess, vlog those for you guys. And I am going to be getting up a what I spend in a week for all of you guys who've been missing my budgeting videos as well. I definitely hear you guys. Hole punched a bit right there. And I'm going to, before I start marking things down on my planner like holidays, I am going to lay down my date dots really quick. And then we'll come back to let you guys in on what, what I have going on for this month. Okay, so I have those down. I think I'll proceed with um, my holidays here. So depending on how big the script is, I might use the appointment labels, I might use these. I don't have any sticky notes, but I already planned my month in some inserts that I'm going to be using because I just started using, or I'm going to start using this new planner. Well, this is a notebook from Tool, and I talked about it a little bit on my Instagram just now. I mean, 
March is empty right now, but I did it another piece of paper just to make sure that I that it was what I wanted to do. But I just have these monthly inserts from Infinite Lotus that I've already planned in. So that's kind of what I'm going with for reference. So let's do Mardi Gras and Ash Wednesday. I don't know what it is about these scripts, but they make me so happy. Like I'm really, really glad that I started with these i believe last year i feel like sometime in the summer i'm not 100 percent sure but oh wrong one <laughs> and they match perfectly with the foil of the month which i love as well we have mardi gras which is funny um like here in california we don't celebrate mardi gras like i don't think i've ever seen anyone celebrating it but i have a patron karina who does celebrate it <laughs> I think she even gets the day off that day she mentioned once, which I think is so crazy to me, but yes. Next, I'm going to do spring forward, so daylight savings time begins. It's actually going to start on the day that I have my flight, so that is very interesting. <laughs> I really hope everything goes according to plan. I don't know if I should do it. I think I'm going to do it on a smaller label because I have my flight then. I think I'll just do it on this one then. Yes. So spring begins. Okay, so this is the wrong script because spring begins on the 20th. But I do have a script for spring forward. Which I will use this one for. There's always some noise going on in the background of my videos. Every single video. <laughs> then I have St. Patrick's Day and Cesar Chavez Day. So let me add those. Into the mix. And those will be all of the holidays that I'll be marking for this month. St. Patty's Day. And Cesar Chavez. Cute. Okay. Cesar Chavez is on the 31st. And then St. Patty's on the 17th. Okay. So now that I have all those laid down, I'm going to start with, let's see, I have so many things to mark. I'm a little late filming this, but Go Wild was from the, from Thursday until Saturday. I personally didn't go to the opening like party on Thursday, so I'm just going to mark it from Friday through Saturday. And I think I'll do that with, one of these boxes. I have a lot of like Go Wild stickers that I just received, but I think I'm just gonna do something that I already have. So I found these in my collection. They're from Simply Me Kish, and they're just little planner meetup stickers. So I'm gonna grab one of these. I've had these for a long time. Just put that there and write out Go Wild which I was so excited that Go Wild was in Southern California because you guys know that I live in Los Angeles. And now I think I'm gonna use some washi. It's been a while since I've used some Simply Gilded washi, but I do have both of these. I think I'm going to go with the red and gold just because I feel like there's a lot of green already. So I'm gonna use some washi to mark that. That was until the fifth on the fifth that's my grandma's birthday and i also want to have space to mark that great okay so that's gonna be for go wild and like i mentioned it's my grandma's birthday this day on the fifth so i'm going to take this appointment label and mark 
Hallmark. Let's see. I have these stickers from Once More With Love's six year anniversary. It's their favorites. And I have some balloons one right here. So I'm going to use that to mark Machi's birthday on the 5th. So I'll put Machi's birthday. Very cute. Then after that, let's see. I have my friend Cynthia's birthday on the 6th. So I'll use one of these bigger boxes. This one right here. To mark her birthday. And I have some birthday icons from the shop. So I'm just going to grab a present. And mark Cynthia's birthday. I believe she turns 25. I actually have a ton of birthdays this month. So let's see who's next. <laughs> next up, I have my cousin Joseph. Well, my cousin Joseph and my cousin Sebastian. Which is so funny that they're both Pisces men. <laughs> that makes me laugh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> So on the 11th is Joseph's birthday. And both of these cousins, they live in Peru. And I'm super, super close to them. They're like my brothers. And I'm so excited that I get to fly to Peru on the 13th, which I am trying to see how I'm going to fit all this stuff. I might just have to do like some really small icons. Let's see, let's see. Really small appointment labels, I'm guessing. Yeah, I just have to do that. <laughs> really tiny ones, okay. So. Right there. I have these planes from Fox and Pip. They're the Happy Mini size, which are supposed to be smaller than her usual size, but these are kind of huge. Maybe if I put it this way? Okay, let's see. I think I'll still do the balloons for Sebastian's birthday. And I'm very big about like marking my loved one's birthdays just because, I don't know, I want to make sure to wish them a happy birthday so that they know that I care enough to do so. Just because I love when people wish me happy birthday and I don't know, it just feels good, I think. So that's kind of why I add that to my planner. I know a lot of people don't do that, but personally, I love doing this. So let's put Celestian's birthday. And then I'm just gonna write out probably like LAX to Lima. So I'm leaving on the 13th. I'm actually going, I'm practically taking my grandparents back to Peru and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We're going, we're all going on the same plane and everything. So let's do LAX to Lima like so. And then let's see, what else do I have? I have my Tia Lucci's birthday on the 12th. That's so funny. So many birthdays. Let's grab maybe one of these smaller ones. Right here. And I should have. I'll do another present because that's all I got right now. Perfect. And after this, I have one more birthday for my patron and a good friend of mine, Brianna. Her birthday is on the 27th of March, and I definitely want to mark that. So let's do this one. I kind of want to switch it up a little bit. Because I've been doing all the icons on that side. And I'm going to use my last birthday present here for that. And let's see. I'm gonna write out Brianna's birthday. And she is an Aries. Which I love that for her because I'm an Aries rising. So I love Aries people. <laughs> okay, those are all of my birthdays. I think I'll also mark when I come back from Peru, which is on the 27th that day. Use this one. And 
I'll use my last airplane. I did not think I was going to use this sheet up. But to be quite honest, I've been having this for a while. So wow, I love when this happens. Two sheets, all done. So I'll put the plane down. And I'll put Lima to LAX. Next up, I'm going to mark the one-on-ones that I have scheduled so far, which I have one on the 15th. At 9 a.m. With Caitlin, so I'll go ahead and write one-on-one. -on -one. With Caitlin. Then I have one on the 24th. Which I think I'll just use another one of these right here. And this one is at 12 30 with my patron Daisy. And then last but not least, I have one on the 28th. with Jasmine and that is at 9 a.m. as well perfect I love it okay what else what else do we have oh I know what I can mark okay so the last thing I'm going to mark is that I will be going on a road trip to any guesses? Any guesses where? I don't think I've mentioned this because, well, me and my boyfriend Victor have been wanting to go on a road trip and we didn't know where to go exactly. So then he kind of just talked to his brother Carlos and we're going to all end up going, me, Victor, Carlos, and Azul, which is Carlos' girlfriend. We're going to be taking a road trip to Portland, Oregon and Seattle, Washington, which I've never been to any one of those places and I'm really excited. So right when I come back from Peru, I have one day to get all of the extra work that I need to get done and then I leave for Portland and Seattle on the 29th. So I'm going to mark that. I'm going to use this bigger box. Like here, I think I'll bring it a little higher just because I want to use the washi. Just because I have this label here and I want to use the washi to mark all this time. I think I'll still be able to do it if I bring it down here. Okay. I do have some road trip stickers. So I can't find my road trip stickers, but I'm just gonna go back to the six year anniversary favorite sticker sheet. And there's this little guy with the car, which is not as cute as the one I have. And I know I have it, <laughs> but I don't know where it is. That's what happens when you don't organize your stickers, guys. So I'm just gonna use this one right here. And I'm just gonna ride out road trip, I think, yes. Yeah, I'll do that. And then I'm going to use my washi here. And I kind of want to see where I should put it. Probably like up here. Like right there. I'm just going to use my ruler here. And then I'll do that. I think I'm going to do it all the way until April, even though I know... It's a different month, but it's okay. There's so much going on this month, guys. It's crazy, but it's good for my planner <laughs> because I get to mark a lot of stuff down. All right, so that's going to be for our road trip, and I think that might be it. I'm acting like it's not a bunch of things. So I think that's going to be it for the monthly view section and then I'll move on to the dashboard which I have right here and in here I've been doing the same thing pretty much every month to be honest with you guys I'll just grab my sticker so let's start with this one these I don't know what it is I mean you guys know this I love like a good like cherries print I love cherries 
and I've mentioned probably I've probably mentioned this in the past but I like the look of cherries but I don't necessarily love like the taste of them <laughs> like it's not my favorite fruit at all <laughs> I think my favorite fruit would have to be like I don't know like strawberries I love strawberries For on top here, I believe. Well, let's see. Let's do appointments for this one. Those would include like one-on-ones or anything else that I have to do. Then birthdays go in this box. Any important things, so like priorities, will go up here. Which I have some dots to cover those blank ones. And then the bottom box will be for tracking habits, which if you guys have been watching my channel since the beginning of the year, you guys know I do the same thing every month down here, which I probably won't be doing it today, to be honest, because I'm kind of on a time crunch. Hmm. I think I'll do it off camera. BRB. <laughs> All right, so I made my three little months here, which is usually what I do for the habits section. I use one of these stencils from Dear Lily Designs. This is the one that I use every single month. I just went ahead and traded off which one I did. I'll leave a link for her shop in the description box. And then the habits that I'm going to be tracking for this month are going to be different ones. I think one of these might be different. I do want to mark me reading because I, I feel like I always have this in my planner and I still can't get myself to read something because I don't know whether there's no time or I'd rather spend time on my phone. I don't know, but that's going to be number one this month. Then number two is going to be to upload videos on YouTube. And then number three will be to make my bed because that's always a good habit to have. And I'm pretty good at that for the most part, but I feel like last month I was kind of bad at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and include it for this month and we'll see how that goes. But with that being said, that is going to be it for today's video. Let me go ahead and put my pages back in my planner and give you guys an overlook of it. All right guys, so this is how my monthly view is looking. I absolutely love how everything looks in here. I am very excited for both of my trips, although honestly right now I'm a little bit stressed to kind of prep for said trips. But yeah, that's the monthly view. And then we have the correlating dashboard page with the cherries. If you guys are not into this cherry pattern and are still looking for some March stickers, I do have another one with some, I believe, daisies and four leaf clovers for like St. Patty's Day. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video as always, please do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. Also go ahead and follow me on my planning Instagram, which is at Romina Plans. I just actually posted a picture on there and I will try to be a lot more active, especially on my trip in Peru because I want to try out some new like planning styles and kind of update you guys about that. And hopefully I will get to see you guys on my next video. Bye guys!